Aloha. There is a new project out there called Count Me In, which allows people, it's a non-profit, non-profit project that allows people to send in, a, let me rephrase that, it allows cancer patients to send their medical information directly to researchers that are searching for cures. Um, I, I went in and I signed up for information online. However, the one thing that you do need to know off the bat is that they are currently only building four databases. Um, metastatic breast cancer, metastatic prostate cancer, angiosarcoma, and gastroesophageal, gastroesophageal cancer. So if you have any of those four cancers, you can send in your medical history. And um, let's see, it says including blood, saliva, and tumor samples. It goes into a public database that any researcher, any researcher can access. Um, the tumor samples and blood samples are genetically sequenced and that data along with the patient's medical history is then translated into an anonymous database. So researchers can go into the database and pull out what they're looking for specifically. Like if they are doing specific for prostate cancer, metastatic pros prostate cancer, they can pull out all the prostate cancer patients. Um, and this is, it's not public access, public accessible, so no one else can see it. You know, you have to be a physician and be, or a researcher and be able to get in. Um, let's see, um, doo -doo -doo -doo. so far 5,500 people have submitted their information and they hope to have 100,000 within the next few years. My phone is slipping again. I'm gonna have to find something. <laughs> um, it's a the project. Count me in is a collaboration, co collaboration, collaboration between Emerson Collective, an organization focused on innovative solutions for social change, that was founded by Lorreen Powell Jobs, who is Steve Jobs' widow. Steve Jobs of Apple. My phone is slipping again. That was fast. <sighs> Boy, I am really going to have to find a new clamp for this. Um, it just does not want to stay. You can just see it. Look at my shoulders. You can just see it. Okay, there it goes. Okay, hang on. I'll be right back. Okay, let's try this. I'll just sort of have it propped up. It's not in the clamp. Okay, so Steve Jobs' widow, um, the Broad Institute of MIT and Harvard, the Biden Cancer Initiative, and the Dana-Farber Cancer Institute. They're all in on this project. Am I slipping again? No. Okay. Um, let's see. Um, the Broad Institute, which is a genetics institute, performs the sequencing, and for now we'll store the samples that patients send in. Um, people in the U.S. and Canada can send in their medical records and samples by signing an online consent form on Count Me In's website, and then after you sign up, you get a kit by mail for providing your saliva sample, and then Count Me In contacts your hospital and your doctor to get the medical records and samples that they, the blood and tumor samples that they need. Since it's not a commercial business, Count Me In's patient database will not be sold to pharmaceutical companies or anyone else, and the project will be funded mainly through philanthropy. I like that. Okay, so because it is so hard for a lot of patients to get into a study, you know, because of where they're located, having an online database makes it a lot easier. Like for me, being in Hawaii, there's not a lot of research being done out here locally. So I would have to go to Texas or to Boston 
do you know how much airfare is to Boston? <laughs> Even to California, it's astro astronomical. So to go to Boston and then to do it while you're sick and to have to keep doing it back and forth because you can't just go once, you have to keep going back and forth. I actually, um, someone in our building had gotten cancer a couple of years ago. He actually moved to Texas for about a year to be treated, but he had to move there. So th this is crazy, you know. Um, okay, so um, let's see. So because Steve Jobs, his father died of pancreatic cancer. So, um, oh no, is it her? Oh. Okay, it looks like Lorene Powell Jobs, her father died of pancreatic cancer. So she'd been discussing the, the, pace, the project with Eric Lander, president of the Broad Institute for several years, and because his own father had, um, it just says his illness, it doesn't say what kind of cancer or if it was cancer. So um, I guess it was pancreatic cancer, judging by what the article is saying. I don't want other families to have to go through what we did, he said. It was tragic. And so it is. If you can submit a saliva sample and have your test results sent into this database and they can use it for your kids, your grandkids, God, that would be fantastic. Um, you know, my own cancer is not on the list yet. So, you know, you have to have metastatic breast cancer, which I don't have, thank you. <laughs> um, but that's why Count Me In is focusing on rare cancers and those with few reliable treatments to start with. They, they'll add, I think they'll add other cancers later on, but this is where they're starting because it is so hard to get this information anywhere else. And so they're aggregating, he said, I think aggregating the most information we possibly can about the rarest cancers is really the logical first step for us being able to figure out which patients should go on which treatments and what new ideas there are out there. She says, so sorry, that was um, Lorene Powell Jobs. Um, so let's see. Yeah, they plan to add other cancer databases in the future and um, Let's see, it's an attempt to take advantage of underappreciated resource, the data that every cancer patient provides in the form of their tumor's DNA, their treatment decisions, and their outcomes. So, um, there is never, let's see, this is from Lander, who says there has never been a way for the 90 plus percent of patients in the US who aren't being treated at academic medical centers to be part of the research. Again, like I said, if you live in a, somewhere that's not close to a medical research facility, if you're not in Boston, if you're not in Texas, you know, if you're not in the Dallas-Fort Worth or the Houston area, you're not in San Francisco near, um, or you're not near UC Davis or um, Stanford, you know. Um, Count Me In is not intended to be a resource for changing the medical treatments of the patients who provide their samples, but rather is a repository of data for researchers to access to answer fundamental questions about cancer. So don't expect this to change your outlook. This is just to help your kids, your grandkids, anyone else who might be um, diagnosed down the line. This is to help get answers for the future. And, and it says, why, for example, does some breast cancer spread beyond the breast tissue and other breast cancer does not? Are there markers that researchers, that researchers can find to identify women who are most likely to develop metastatic disease? Which treatments work best for which cancers and why? That's what they're looking for. Um, And they're looking to share the data so that it they don't have to go, they don't have to go from re research center to research center to research center, asking for data. You know they can have it all coalesced into one place. 
and let's see this is kind of a long article so um, da, 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 da. and one woman Barbara Barbara Bigelow who is diagnosed with metastatic breast cancer um, she submitted her information because she says we may have a gene that has not yet been discovered you know and she has a, f a family history of breast cancer she has two daughters she wants to to help you know she doesn't want her daughters to have to go through this um, let's see oh she took she she took part in a clinical trial but the therapy on that one took its toll on her immune system and she was hospitalized for two months and put into a medically induced coma so her as her kidneys started to shut down but after she recovered from that her cancer started to shrink and so two years later she has no active signs of cancer hmm. Okay, um, let's see, people with cancer who are joining Count Me In are aware that they're donating their information not to find a treatment, sorry, I dropped it, not to find a treatment for themselves, but for future generations. And then Doyle says, it's not about me, it's about the big picture, it's about all of us. I love that quote. So, that is... This article I found on Time Health online, um, written, the article was written by Alice Park, and I will link it down below, and I will link the Count Me In website. Um, I did go in and sign up for, to keep updated and to get more information from them. So, um, I'll let you in on it, and you can see for yourself, and if you fit the four profiles, one of the four profiles, not all of them, if you fit one of the four profiles, go ahead and sign up to get your data submitted. And even if you don't fit a profile, sign up to, to stay updated. And other than that, I will talk to you later. Bye-bye.